Okay, buenos dias, hello. <laughs> My name is Blanca and I'd like to introduce Moises Lorena, a visual artist and most amazing human being and a shaman who dedicated his life to ayahuasca healing. And I'd like to talk to Moises about that. So I'm going to go back and I'll let All you right. talk. <laughs> So can you tell us about ayahuasca? What is the miracle of ayahuasca? Oh yeah, you know, first of all I would like to introduce ayahuasca. Ayahuasca is a vine. Vanitarius cap is the scientific name or yeah, I think the science know as this name. Uh -huh. And the other plant uh, who is the ingredient together is cooked or boiled is um, Chacruna, the Psychotribiridis, the scientific name. So both this combination is a magical Brew is a magical <laughs> tea that uh, I think is, we call the jungle of chocolate or the, <laughs> the tea for the soul. How old is the tea of the soul? How old is the chocolate? Oh, it's, it's Asian medicine, it's isn't it? It's an Asian medicine. We don't know exactly in the history how how old it is, but the generation uh, in the Amazonian countries. Like mm -hmm. in South America, using so long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot to introduce the place where we are. So could you tell us where we are yes, right now? Yes, we are in the in Munai. Munai is this amazing jungle called for, because he in this in this place there's two healing centers for mm -hmm. two amazing healers. To Don Jose Campos, which was my teacher, and his good friend Ronnie. And both own this beautiful place. They are con doing conservation, um, replanting more medicine uh, plants here, and which is amazing. I, I feel at home here. Yeah, for the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's beautiful. And uh, so people come here to these ceremonies. Um, I was one of those people. I just spent. I had the privilege to spend ten days with you here in the jungle. Ten days with ten amazing people and most amazing teacher, and it's been life changing for me. Uh, why people come here normally? Oh, people, you know, are looking for uh, getting better or looking for get better their health. So there's many issues about health in the Western world. Even here in in Peru, in, in our country, in South America, there's a lot. Uh, but people are seeking for get better, staying in harmony with nature, feeling happy, feeling yourself. Because I believe so much that uh, the society uh, or any surround ourselves are conditioning our programming to be not ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because I remember when I was a kid, uh, my mom, without wanting maybe, she said, Oh, don't do that, don't take this. And so I didn't know what I was able to do because my mom doesn't want. Uh, I could do anything because I had to ask my mom what I should do. Mm -hmm. But this, I think, from little, little bit, we were getting programmed not to be yourself. Mm -hmm. When we Amazing. become uh, adults, you should decide who you want to be. Mm -hmm. And then you are unconfident of yourself, you don't love yourself, you lack uh, different things, and you're never happy with yourself. Mm -hmm. So when that can be yourself, Mm. Uh, that is a good question. So when you can have uh, money uh, or many, many things you want, but if your soul, is, your spirit or your mind, your emotion are not in tune together, so you never will be happy uh, at all. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think ayahuasca, what is break this wall, your defense, your ego defense, to let it go in and work through and then teach you how you become as a kid, as a baby, again yourself. Mm -hmm. This is how, mm -hmm. what I love ayahuasca. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. And you're also a visionary artist and you're inspired by ayahuasca. Yes, yeah. Can you tell us about your art and, and you know, what, what it is that you're painting? Oh, yeah, you know, when I, I was teach, uh, I had an amazing artist as a teacher, uh, Paulo Amaringo. Mm -hmm. I was in his school for five years, mm -hmm. but uh, when I was learning there, I was learning just to paint nature. It was beautiful, connected with nature, uh, like doing some uh, recreative nature. Mm -hmm. But uh, after when we are, I, I was out at the school, mm -hmm. Paolo was uh, sometimes encouraging a little bit, okay, why you don't paint this? Or maybe you can be a good healer sometime. Mm -hmm. And I didn't believe seriously that part. 
But then I, I, I get introduced in ayahuasca. So I start drinking. Wow, I saw amazing how I could approach the divinity on me. Because before I was on fear to drink ayahuasca. Mm -hmm. Because I hear in my religious mind, I was, I was born in a religious family, mm -hmm. very Catholic. I don't have anything against the religion, but I had to talk about this. Because uh, my mom was saying, if you drink ayahuasca, you are part of the evil process. Because ayahuasca, is the dark, is not the light. The light was the religion. But I realized when I became ayahuasca drinker, uh, my fear was the same. Uh, like it was changing about how I, I face the evil, how I face the demon, my own demon. So how to become an alchemist to change this fear as a leverage to grow myself, mm -hmm. to learn from nature and stay in balance, to stay in love with myself and love nature. And I was, was changing slowly, slowly that part until I was painting more free. I was discovering how beautiful is this surf, uh, real wall uh, in the mystery of ayahuasca. Mm -hmm. was yeah it was an amazing the step I did and and so gorgeous and I'm so happy I did this step because I could be uh, I don't know what what doing but <laughs> I don't know but I'm so happy that I did this step mm -hmm. so yeah. from from visionary artist which you still are you became shaman and your purpose become to heal people yeah, yeah. Uh, through your art and through ayahuasca yeah. ceremonies as an, as an artist, I was healing people. I'm sure that I was inspiring other people. I was encouraging other people. And but as, ta as the time was going on, I was drinking more. I saw the people was was inspiring me, like healing. I was helping a little bit. I was translating for other mm -hmm. shamans uh, in ceremony. Then I said, "Wow, this could be amazing to to drink more and do diet." And after my teacher, Don Jose Campos, he invited me to his center to learn from him that was a huge step mm -hmm. to go into the healing part and yeah it was very hard very disciplined but uh, you see how you grow yourself how you can affect your life your own life and then grow in yourself then be able to expand healing others helping others mm -hmm. that's which is amazing how is this transformation is happening yeah i know i've seen it i've seen it in so many people here over the last 10 days so like people are reborn you know people have started to smile for the first time in a really yeah. long time uh they feel like children again i mean it's literally a rejuvenating process you know yeah. to, to drink ayahuasca and to really connect with who you are um i saw some of your beautiful art uh i know it's in gallery in on display in your studio in pocalpa uh would you consider having an exhibition in europe Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm open to exhibit anywhere where the medicine is calling me and uh, will be there. Amazing. <laughs> Showing so my art and doing some ayahuasca uh -huh. retreats. And uh, where, where in the world do you do ceremonies? You know, for some people it's probably maybe impossible to imagine to come to the jungle, which yeah. I was one of them. I was scared of everything, spiders, snakes, name it, I was scared. Yeah. I have, to, I have to show this from the bottom of my heart. I'm in this jungle and I'm loving it. I was walking in the rain yesterday and I didn't care. You know, I just felt one with the nature and it was so wow, beautiful. Amazing, so yeah. people don't be scared. If there could be anybody more scared than me, yeah, it's I impossible. <laughs> and I'm here day 10 and I don't want to leave. I want to yeah, be here, it's yeah. so beautiful. Wow. But if there are people who still have the fear, mm -hmm. where would you come to, to you know, have them experience ayahuasca? Would yeah. you come to the United States? Would you come to Europe? Where yeah, do you go? I'm, I'm traveling very much now. I was uh, in Holland last uh, month ago. And yeah, in England, I was traveling Europe in general, mm -hmm. and uh, America, and I'm going for two months, April and May, I'll be in Chicago and New York around, mm -hmm. doing some some healing works, I'm showing my art, all the painting too. Beautiful. <laughs> and doing some music. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, if I include your email address into under this video, people can reach out to you and ask you to come to do ceremonies, would you consider that? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, uh, my email is Moises Verena, RT, all together, at yahoo.es. 
Beautiful. Or you can find me in 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 Google to find <laughs> my name and you will find my Moises Lorena. Moises, thank you so much. I have to give you a big hug. <laughs> I love you, you so much. Thank, thank you, love you. Thank you so thank much. You. I love you too. Thank Moises, you for coming here. And thank you for this. inviting me because <laughs> Moises changed my life. All the people I was here with, I feel reborn and I genuinely mean it. And I was scared like anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm praying. And I thank you for oh, that. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you thank for you being so yourself. Thank you for giving this card to yourself and this gift. This is some amazing. You, don't, you know, life is a present. Life is a present has to be 